So, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So, I just made my coffee and got a muffin that my girlfriend did last night, so that's not my normal breakfast, but today it is, so yeah, I'm gonna have my breakfast and then we're gonna get into the video where I'm gonna talk about my brand or specifically my brand and my girlfriend's brand because we're gonna do it together. So I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys ask me a lot through my DMs and also just bring you along how the process have been so far. Um, I'm not an expert because I haven't done any drop until now but I can definitely talk about my experience that I had so far and yeah, I'm gonna just give you some information, show you some stuff that I have here and try to help some of you if you're interested in starting something new. So I'm gonna have my breakfast and then we're gonna get into the video. So now let's get into the video. So I guess I'm gonna start the video by showing you what I already have from Kihon Gallery from the brand. So starting off, I got two hats here. They're basically the same hat, just on this one, you can see that there is no washing on the color. And on this one, you can see that there's like a washing to it and gives like this used look. And these are the two hats that I made. And talking about these hats, something that I learned while in this whole process, I thought you could go to like one production and tell them I want this pants, I want this t-shirt, I want this hat, please do it all. Uh, but that's not how most of the productions work. Most of the productions are specialized for one piece or let's say one garment like uh, for the t-shirts and then there's another production for the pants and there's another production for the hat and then if you want to do something crazy like a special jacket maybe the one production that does like normal t-shirts can't do that so you have to search for another production and yeah i think so far the most hard is definitely to find the right production for the right piece and then you have to get to know the production you have to see how they work and then you have to see if it matches how you want to do the stuff and if they know what you're talking about or if they are like more into high fashion or whatever or if they understand what like the type of street where is that you're looking for and i'm lucky that i'm portuguese and the production is in portugal so i can talk with them in Portuguese and maybe talk better about some stuff that I want to explain. That's definitely something I have uh, which helps me a lot on this process. And yeah, that's something that I thought would be different when I started. But at the end, you will find your way. But to find a production, it's definitely something hard as far as I experienced it. You need to have some connections who already know someone who has a production or someone who already has a brand who knows the production but that's not always something that like gives you a hundred percent chance to get to know the production because sometimes they don't reply to your email sometimes they're like not interested because they have enough work it's as far as I know, I don't know how for everyone else it is. And of course, I can only talk about productions in Portugal. And yeah, that's as far as my experience is. It's quite hard to communicate with the productions at the beginning. After that, it's quite easy. I have a contact on my WhatsApp and I am talking always on my phone with her. And yeah, talking about the communication with them at the beginning, it's definitely something you need to invest a lot of time in because you don't already have the garment that you want you don't already know how you want to have the t-shirt like fitted you don't know anything you have to start from zero of course you can take some other t-shirts that you like but as far as for me there wasn't a perfect t-shirt so i had this one where i like this stuff and then i had a t-shirt where i like liked how the neck fit but 
There wasn't one t-shirt, so you have to do some samples, which also costs some money. So that's also a point where I'm gonna get to after. And at the beginning, quite hard because you have to start from zero. You have to start from zero, how the t-shirt's gonna fit, what type of garment, what type of tag you want. And that's also for the pants. Maybe you have one that you like, but then you have to look at the washing, then you have to look at the at the sizes and there are some stuff that you wouldn't even think about that you need to decide that because you have never been into that area or as far as I can talk for me I thought I knew what I need to know for like design t-shirt but that wasn't the case you will be surprised how many details go into one t-shirt which is quite simple which hasn't anything on it just a t-shirt without a print and there goes so much time and so much effort and so much work into just one t-shirt and then as well into pants and then of course also into hats how they fit and so on so that are some informations about the production and all the stuff that you need to know and of course then as I said there's also the part of the money and yes, it definitely costs some to start your clothing brand. I can't tell you any prices in specific because that wouldn't be okay with the production. But you will definitely have to be ready to spend an amount around five digits. So that's something you definitely need for your first drop because there are some MOQs which means minimum order quantity so you have to fulfill the rules and the MOQ from the production and yeah as far as I experienced you have definitely to spend a five digit uh, amount of money to get everything ready and but with spending the money you have you have all that you need to drop ready so you don't have to spend any more than I think I answered or I, I got you a good idea on how the stuff works with the production. I haven't wrote anything down, I'm doing this on freestyle, so if I forgot something, let me know that in the comments so that I can include it in the next video or answer that in the comment section. But also something that I get asked a lot is what softwares I use to do the stuff. Um, yeah, I just use their classic Adobe stuff like Adobe Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop and also PDF Expert to do some stuff on my iPad. Yeah, that are the softwares that I use to do this stuff. And yeah, I think I talked about a lot of stuff. And yeah, now I'm gonna show you what I've got from Kihon Gallery. I started with the hat. I'm gonna show you more in detail what I've got here. So here we have, as I said, our hat which is gonna be included in the first drop. Just a basic blue washed hat with a nice washing on it and just so that you can see the difference. I hope you can see it in this light. Yeah, you can definitely see it. Like this one on the right has no washing on it and this one has a really cool washing on it so that it has like this used look. So that's the difference. And that's also something which Came with the process, I started with this one and saw that it wouldn't be the color that I like so I asked them to do it like with a used look, so with a washing and then it came out like this so that's a part of the process which will be always improving. Then moving on we got our first sample of the pants which will also be included in the first drop. So just some classic pants with a nice washing on it. I guess you can see it in this light, yeah, you can see it good with a nice washing on it. The fit is pretty cool, which I, it's more like a baggy pants, which I really like. And yeah, there's nothing special or that's no de special designs on it. Um, on this sample, we don't have any tags or something on it, not on the inside, not on the outside. So that's just really a sample for the sizing and how everything fits. And the next sample that we're gonna get from the pants is gonna be a PPS, which means pre-production sample. And there's gonna be everything on it that will be on the pants when it's done. So we will have our tag here at the back. We will have our tag on the inside. 
will have everything how it is supposed to be at the end. So there's also something which I didn't knew. You will have just some samples which have anything on it. Maybe you can ask them to put it on if you want to know how it would look on the pants. But in my case, they will do it on the PPS, on the pre-production sample, so that I then can see how everything looks. And if I don't like it, to tell them what I want to change. So yeah, so these are the pants which are also gonna be included in the first drop. So then we have here a basic t-shirt where we have a tag on it, but this is not, definitely not gonna be the tag that I'm gonna use. As you can see, that's something you need to try. I didn't know before that the tag would look like this after washing the t-shirt twice. So I talked with them that I want to fix it differently and also that if they can maybe change something on the quality of this tag because as you can see after washing it twice the color is coming off so that's definitely something that I don't want on my t-shirts and yeah that's something that you will learn with time and something that I'm also going to do on my t-shirts is this used look here on top as well as on the bottom and as well on the sleeves to get this used look that I'm really into right now and then you also have your tags on the inside where we have a nice text on it with the message of Kihon Gallery and then also of course some washing instructions over here and some other stuff that you need to have on your tags but that's also something that I don't want to happen on my tags after washing it to get like this look how it's doing right now like too used that's not something I want to have on my t-shirts and yeah that's some stuff about uh, the pieces that I have and this is not a t-shirt which will be included in the first drop this is just a plain t-shirt there's gonna be a print on the t-shirt of the first drop which I can't show you already because it's not 100% done and I want to show you when it's finished so the current state of everything is that I'm waiting for my pre-production samples which I hope will be how I want them and if there is everything okay start the production of everything because our goal is to drop somewhere in the middle of this year which will be around the summer where we have a t-shirt, some pants and the hat which will be an outfit that you can wear from Kihon Gallery and yeah that's our goal I don't know if we will be able to do it like this how we want it because as I said it's our first drop um, just trying to start everything I have no experience in it so please bear with me if it won't drop in the middle of the year but that's definitely something I want to and I'm working for so if you want to see everything about the brand where we're gonna drop and all the information as soon as I have everything fixed definitely go follow Kihon Gallery on Instagram and I think that's everything I can say for the moment about Kihon Gallery um, if I forgot something as I said I didn't wrote anything down what I would like to say let me know that in the comments and in the future I will definitely be able to tell you some more and also if we had a good first drop and all that but definitely before dropping our first drop I will do a collection video collection video where I show you our three pieces and uh, in detail how everything fits what size I'm wearing and the measurements and all of that I will do an in-depth video of this before dropping our first collection and yeah as I said I hope I gave you good insight into what it takes to start a clothing brand I don't know where this is gonna take me or if this will be the first and the last drop I don't know if it's gonna continue and that's something which is open to the future so um, but I'm definitely enjoying the process I'm definitely enjoying or trying to enjoy all of that and yeah and I want to say thank you to you guys uh, without you I won't be able to start something like this and yeah as I said I hope I gave you some good insights and I hope you enjoyed this video if so make sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and if you haven't already make sure to follow me on Instagram and also Kihon Gallery and we'll see us in the next one. Peace!